Hi, this is Tim from realwebsitehints.com and this is a quick, easy tip on how to use Amazon S3 to share a file with your audience. It actually took me, embarrassingly enough, like two days to figure out how to do this and tons of searching around on the webs and then I found out there's a really easy way to do it and it was like seeing a magician's trick revealed. So let's check it out. Uh, if you don't have an S3 account, um, it's pretty cool if you have files that you want to share with a lot of people because it's basically scalable online storage and there are ways of sharing it. I'm going to show you exactly how to share it using a web link in this video. So what you want to do if you don't have an S3 account and you want to get one is just go to Amazon.com slash S3. Go ahead and sign up for your account. I already have an account. Um, so then what you want to do is you want to go in and you want to sign into your console. So here we go and we want to use S3. Now the easiest way and the most intuitive way I found to do this was actually not to use the to use the S3 web interface. I did figure out how to use that afterwards and it's not that difficult but I do find it much more intuitive to use a program to help you. And the program that I like to use is Transmit. So in order to use Transmit, which is an FTP program for Mac, you need to get a password and secret key for that. So what we do here is we click on your name up here and then we click on security credentials and go ahead and do continue security credentials. And what we want to do is we want to get an access key and access ID. And if you haven't created one already, you want to go ahead and create one. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we'll go create access key. We're going to do show access key. And then you just want to copy the access key ID and I use Transmit. There's a lot of other programs that work for this, but I really like Transmit. I've been using it for several years now. So let's go ahead and open up, open it up, and you can find um, Transmit. I've got a link to it on the article on realwebsitehints.com s3, or uh, you can just go to panic.com slash transmit. And Panic's the company that makes Transmit. And open up Transmit here. All right, and then we got this handy little tab here, Amazon S3. So the server is S3 dot, and that sort of auto populates. You just paste in, whoops, you just paste in your there. key there, and we do connect. And you go back here and you paste in your secret access key. There, and we do connect. All right, and then um, what you need to do is uh, I already have a couple of buckets in here that I was playing around with, and one I'm using for my um, Make a Website online course, and I've got some downloadable files that uh, people who are taking my course can use to sort of get them started, some example images that they can use if they're following along exactly with my course. So I wanted to make that um, a download, and that's why I started using Amazon S3. But what we want to do is we want to create a new bucket. So we can just right-click, and we can do New Bucket, and let's do... I remember to delete it later and it's not important. And then we can open this up. It's kind of like a folder. Um, I think it's got some other properties to it, but it's basically kind of like a folder. And then in this bucket here, you can just upload whatever files you want to. So I'm just going to upload this small screenshot file. Since it's not too big, it'll upload quickly. And then if you want to share that on the web, it's as easy as just right clicking and then going to Get Info. And then you want to change um, the read permissions to world if you want to share it, assuming, assuming you want to share it with everybody. You want to click apply. And then you just want to right click on it again and you get copy URL. And there we go. Now we've got the URL for that image copied to my clipboard. And I can just go ahead and paste it in. And there we go. And that's the image that I just uploaded. So that's how you do it. So that's one easy way of setting it up. Now, if you just want to do it directly through the Amazon dashboard, or rather directly through the um, S3 dashboard, we just need to go back to the beginning. And then we click on S3 here. And then you can create a new bucket just simply by creating a new bucket. And then when you click on one of your buckets here, you can select an item. And then under Actions, to make it public, you can just click Make Public. And it takes a minute, and then it makes that file public. And then under Actions, you can click on Properties. And there we go. And that's the link that you can use to share that file uh, with the world and share it on your website. There's a quick look at how you use Amazon S3 to share a file or a folder or anything you want to on the website using a link.